Hi guys. <coughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day everybody. My name is Albert Tan from Download Silo. Welcome to today's session of our Prosper Lifetime Deal uh, webinar. And today we have the founder of uh, Prosper. Uh, he's actually none other than uh, Dylan. Dylan, how are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm good. So I just want to make sure that I can hear you and also see your video. So guys, you can see us and uh, what I call uh, hear our voices. Uh, please say hello in the chat so that we know who you are and where are you coming from. Okay, looks like a uh, few guys already here. Uh, we have Stephen Moore and we have uh, Tusa Abdullah. So as usual, guys, I will actually ask you to do some housekeeping. Uh, let me put up the link there so that you can tap it if you have not done so. Hold on, let me do it now. Okay, let me check. Yeah, this is the link I'm talking about. Uh, wave.video slash live slash Facebook. So guys, uh, with this, uh, I would like to start our webinar uh, proper. So before we actually go into the detail of how to use this software, uh, let me ask uh, this, uh, Dylan a few leading questions. Uh, Dylan, would you mind telling us uh, where are you from? You know, uh, I mean, I know you're from USA, but where are you from? Yeah. Um, to start with, thank you, everyone. And it's uh, great to be here with you, Albert. Uh, I'm, I'm currently residing in California. I'm about uh, two hours north of San Francisco. So our company is based um, in two places, one being San Francisco uh, and one being Reno, Nevada. Okay, so what is your experience in uh, running startup or maybe running software company? Yeah, so um, I initially started in the startup space um, right out of high school, actually, as an 18 year old. Um, I joined a very early stage health tech company um, doing project management. But as I was the third employee, um, it really meant that I was doing everything. Um, so everything from web design and development to supply chain and logistics to um, marketing and product development. Um, and that was really when I got the, the first taste of the, the startup world. Um, I spent about three years in that role and helped and watched that company grow quite a bit. Um, from there, I then spent another three years on the kind of other side of the table uh, as a venture capitalist, um, an analyst, and then an associate in the uh, robotics and AI space. Um, so doing investments um, all around the world, but specifically uh, San Francisco, um, Japan, and a little bit in the South Pacific. Um, and then about a year and a half ago, uh, I started Prosper alongside my co-founder. So that's my, my journey there, and um, it's still very much continuing. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like you have quite a bit of experience. We're working on it. <laughs> We're getting more every day. Okay, that's good. So, why do you choose this name, you know, Prosper, you know, as your app? Yeah, we, names are hard. Um, we threw around a lot of names, probably a hundred of them. And um, probably half of them were disqualified because some other company already had the name or we couldn't find a domain name. Um, and we ended up settling on Prosper because um, our goal was to help other companies um, prosper and get more customers and reduce their customer acquisition costs. And so we felt it was pretty representative of, you know, what we were looking to accomplish at that time and, and still are. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's good. And you know? also because sometimes a, a proper name or maybe a, like a brandable name like this, uh, actually attract people, you know? So, but then that's what, but who knows, help. you know, because sometimes a, a very funny name also can become a very popular name. You know? The classic example yeah. is actually Google. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, I think we are ready to go to the webinar proper. So, Dylan, can you please share your screen and go back, go to the back end and tell us what you have to show? Yeah. And please let me know if for whatever reason um, you guys are having trouble seeing my screen. Um, yeah, it should be you know. shared now. Okay. But, okay. um, to, to introduce you guys to Prosper, I'll start with the, the back end, um, and then I'll show you a little bit about how we, we deploy. Um, but to start with, to give a little bit of context, what our solution does is we help um, e-commerce stores or anyone selling. Yeah, 
selling a service um, or product online, we help them implement referral marketing solutions. So helping a friend tell another friend, basically. Um, and what you're seeing here is our dashboard. And so this is kind of a, a testing dashboard with, with not too much hookup to it, but there's really two components. Um, so one is gonna be a widget. And so we always wanna create a widget and this is what is going to appear on your website. And to do so, um, we click, as you saw up here, create widget. And we'll start by naming it. So um, I'll start here with just calling it Prosper Demo um, October. And from here, we're, we're currently still always working on new features and we're gonna be bringing a live preview of the widget um, in the next probably week or two. But as you can see, it's not quite ready yet. But what you do here is you, you can edit your um, different kind of widget attributes, starting with a call to action. Um, so for example, if I want to give, let's say $10 off um, to someone who refers a friend and $10 off to someone who receives a referral, I could say, get 10, 10 um, off to tell a friend. Um, I'm gonna leave the completion message alone because that prompts people to go back and share it again. And then we also have this editable default message. Um, and so basically, and I'll show you guys this in a, a live version. When someone is sharing, it gives them the option to edit a message to some of their friends. So maybe for me, it would be, hey, Albert, um, I was shopping at Nike and thought you might like these shoes. Um, but I'm gonna leave this alone because this is kind of the standard message we use um, where it says organization. It will automatically fill in whatever company um, you're signed up with. And if you want it to be something else, um, let's just say Nike for the example, you can just replace it. Um, I'll leave it there for now. And then going forward, you can also change all of the colors um, to match your branding. And so this is already set up for me to match you know, my company's branding. Um, but you can go in here and do a color picker or you can change your hex codes. Um, and then lastly, you can also change um, the kind of corner radiuses, the font sizes, all of that. Again, because this is set up for, for me, I'm gonna leave that alone. And if you do want to create a custom height, um, you can go ahead and do that and that will fit more directly into your website. Now I'm gonna save this widget and it will prompt me to connect it to a campaign. Um, I'm not gonna do that yet because I wanna show everyone how to also create a campaign. So moving on, I have a couple test campaigns set up here. Um, I'll go ahead and click create a campaign. So once again, let's call this um, demo campaign October and we'll start doing that. So first of all, it wants me to pick a widget to attach to this. So it's got all the widgets I've already made um, or you can create a new one here. So I'm gonna find the, the Prosper um, demo widget that I just put together and connect that. And now um, it lets you pick from, if you want to use a, if you're on Shopify, you can pull a discount code straight from Shopify. Um, or if you're on another platform, let's say WooCommerce, WordPress, Wix, um, Webflow, et cetera, um, you can go ahead and create your own codes here. And I will show you how both of these work, um, starting with just Shopify. So I'll click Shopify and now it's gonna let me pick from codes that are already created in my Shopify account. So I'll just pick this one and then it would automatically link to Shopify. Now going back, if we're, we're off Shopify, let's say we're on WordPress, I'll go ahead and create a static code. And so I have to name the code and this is what um, how you'll track it internally. So I'll just say um, $10 and then we'll put in the code that we want people to use at checkout. Um, and so on the back end for whoever's on WooCommerce or if you're using Stripe, you'll wanna put this code into your billing system. And I'll call it 10% off in October. And that is the code that people will be able to put in to claim that discount. Now I wanna give a description of the code so people know what they're getting. Um, in this case, 10% um, off your purchase. And now, um, so that was for the person who's sending the, the referral. And now if you want to have the same code, um, you can just copy that. Or if you wanna give a different code, let's say a better one for someone who's receiving the referral so that they're more likely to come make a purchase, uh, we can create a new code. So I'll create a new static code here and we can call this one um, you know, 20% or $20 off in October. And this one would be good for $20 off, so. Um, 
And the, again, I just want to point out that the different factor in these two is the um, first one was for the person that will send the referral, and the second one is for the person that receives it. And I also want to mention that not everyone chooses to uh, give a reward to the person that's sending it because they're already on your website. And so that really comes down to if you want to um, provide even more incentive for them to make a purchase. And what we've seen is people are about 10 to 15 times more likely after sending a referral and getting that, that discount to actually make that purchase on your website than the average visitor. So we encourage people to give them some kind of reward. Um, from there, I have to do a, a description again. So I'll just say $20 off your purchase. and continue. And now it's automatically um, pulling my company profile link, um, which is what will be sent to uh, the person receiving the referral. So they'll get a message that says, go to this website, in this case, getprosper.io. Um, otherwise you can put in whatever you know organization or URL you want, but um, this will auto-populate to your company based on what you sign up with. Um, and again, you can change the name of the company you know, let's say you have multiple websites and you want to have, you know, a different URL or a different name, you can go ahead and do that here. Um, and then kind of the, the last piece of this is um, people can send referrals from email or text message. <clears throat> so to start, I, I can edit all of the, the email attributes and messaging. Um, so the subject line, you know, this would say prosper reward. I'm going to take that out and just say, um, and this is for the sender. So here is your referral reward. Um, and so your referral sent, claim your discount here. Thanks, it'll automatically pull in their name, um, the company that's sent from, and then give them a URL to go re um, redeem the reward if they don't already have it. Um, and then again, in the footer, you can change things. Um, alternatively, if you already do email marketing, you can upload a custom template, uh, just an HTML template here. You can go ahead and do the same for the receiver. So you'll see here, it'll say congratulations. Um, this is a little bit of code that's in here. <laughs> I'll pull that out for the sake of everyone um, so it's easier to read. But congratulations, your friend, um, and it will say their name, and then also show their email or their phone number so that you can verify who it was. Was shopping at Prosper, they thought of you, they sent you $20 off, and you can redeem that at this URL. Now, if you want that to say anything else, um, you can go ahead and add it there. And if you wanna use other variables, we support um, these variables here. And so you can go ahead and add those into your messaging as well. And now to the next piece, um, we also do text rewards. So um, about 70% of all of our referrals are sent through SMS, not through email. So this is what um, we, we really kind of excel in. And what's, what you see here is kind of the standard template that we use that, that works pretty well. Now, some people wanna modify it, um, which you can go ahead and do, but I'm gonna leave it alone. And the same goes for the receiver. So now I'm gonna save my campaign and I can click embed, but I'll show you how to do it if you've already saved it in our, on the screen. So once you have your campaign set up, um, it'll show you, you know, what your, your rewards are, um, what widget is attached to it. And then what you can do is you can click embed. And now, so this is for, if you're not on Shopify, um, this is how you would embed a campaign. So you embed it, um, it will pull up a little HTML um, div, which you can then copy, and you can take over to um, your store. So here, this is, I'm using Shopify because that's the store that I have, but this will work for Wix or WooCommerce or whatever store you might be on. Um, and I've already put this in actually because I'm not a technical user and I don't wanna mess it up. But what you can do is you can add a custom liquid section, which I've done here, and you will copy and paste that um, code right here, after which you will see um, the referral widget pop up. Um, and so then you can interact with it, see how it works, make sure it, it works for you. And something else I wanna mention is this will automatically adjust to the um, size and um, kind of dimensions of your website. So here, this is full length, but if I'd set up the custom liquid block to be um, you know, half of the page, or, or put it down here, it would automatically adjust to those sizes. And to also give you guys an example of how to do this, um, you know, if you're not on Shopify and um, don't believe that, that it's not possible there, um, I'll show you a very easy way to do it in a notepad. And so um, you can pull up a note, you can copy and paste 
the code there. I'm going to save this as a web file, um, just a .html. And then from there, I can go ahead and open that up. And you'll see, because there's no constraints on this, it populated the full screen. But if you do that into to WooCommerce, WordPress, et cetera, um, it will then work. And now the last thing I want to show everyone is how this actually functions and looks for users of ours. So you can get a sense of how this is being used for, um, you know, real life businesses. Um, and I'll start with one of our, our users that is a golf um, company. And so they've decided to add us to um, all of their product pages. So if you go to any of their products, you will see this is us here. And you'll see they've designed the, the colors to match um, their brand blue, their, their font. Um, to match their, their branding. And then this is automatically adjusted its size to fit um, alongside the rest of their buttons. And I'll just go through this process so everyone can see how this works. Um, so it opens up and it gives a little explainer, you know, tell a friend, receive your reward, use the discounts. Um, so it asks for our name. For me, that's Dylan. And then it says, you know, let's use text or email. I'm going to use text in this case. Um, and it's asking me to enter the phone number that I'd like to share with. So I'll put in um, my friend's phone number. And then it's going to say, you know, here's that message that we were editing before. And so I'll just say here so my friend knows, hey, I was testing out my product and um, sent it to you. And now that's not the only text that the receiver will get. They will also get all of the other um, non-editable text. So there's no way that people can get rid of your, your business name and your URL. Um, next, I'm going to pick how do I want to receive my reward. So I'll go text. I'm going to put in my phone number and acknowledge my terms and conditions, and then send it. And now what's happening as it loads is we're verifying that the message is actually sending and delivering. That way people can't put in um, a fake phone number or fake email. It returned me a test code because my number's in on the, the back end database so that way we don't mess with our, our customer's data. But what you would do is you would just copy it and then at checkout you'd put it in um, and you would be good to go. So that is one example of a kind of a get 20% off um, campaign. Another one I can quickly show you here um, is someone has been using this to bundle products and upsell certain products on their website. And so their main product they sell are these kind of expensive water bottles, but they also are like looking to upsell hats. And so what they did was, you know, buy one of these flasks and you'll get $10 off a hat. And so what that's done for them is it has enabled them to um, basically cross sell and upsell more products than they usually would. Um, but with that, I want to, you know, pause for a little bit and um, see kind of what questions there are and, and if there's anything else I can answer. Your share screen is no more. Yeah, so um, I'm happy to keep sharing, but I want to take a minute and see if, um, you okay. know, I see there's some questions coming in, so I want to make sure I can answer them. Um, Albert, do you want me just to read through? Um, the questions or do you want to do you want me to or do you want to ask me the questions no uh i just want to know uh i mean has your demo been completed uh yes yeah, so that that was the entire process actually the last the last thing i'll show you guys one more thing mm -hmm. um it won't be great because this is a, a demo and i haven't sent any referrals through it but we also have a reporting feature um which i'll go ahead and let me just share my screen one more time um so we have a reporting screen. And here you can see, because this is all demos, it's blank. But you're able to see um, how many referrals have been sent. And if there was data coming in, you could start to um, look at like which campaigns have worked well, which ones have not. And so again, I apologize. I'm, I'm on a testing dashboard and don't have data in here for you. Mm -hmm. um, a couple other things is you can add team members here. So um, if you have someone else you know, at your company or at a, maybe a client company, um, you can add them in. And then lastly, um, from your account, if you want to send um, emails from your company email instead of ours, which we highly recommend, um, you can go into custom domain setup, add a, you know, whatever your domain is, and then we'll give you the um, TXT records that you can put in on your DNS host. 
So that way all of the emails come from your company and not ours. Um, and the last thing I want to clarify really quick is we have, um, you know, documentation here on how to embed things, how to create campaigns, um, also how to connect to Zapier if you want to do automations such as Klaviyo um, for email marketing. Um, and we've been focused on Shopify, but we are compatible with pretty much any website that will take non-HTML. Uh, and we're working on integrations such as we have with Shopify for uh, firstly WooCommerce, um, which also works with WordPress, um, but then Wix as well. So with that, I will I will wrap that up. Okay. So more or less you have completed your demo. So let me ask you a question, you know, uh, regarding this, uh, what they call this uh, prosper. Uh, look at the demo and also my testing. It's actually, uh, what I call, integrated very well with Shopify. Basically, yeah, yeah it's in, very similar, you know, I would say, you know, everything is very smooth. So, but the moment you want to integrate with other website, you have to embed certain HTML code, right? So yep. I, I do find that, you know, you maybe there is some improvement that can be done. So I'm not sure whether, uh, is there any plan to do it a better way? Yes, definitely. And that, that's something we're currently focused on. And, you know, we initially built for Shopify um, because that was where a large part of our market here in um, kind of California was. And that's where a lot of our early um, adopters were. But as we've expanded um, both, farther in the US, but also internationally um, into Europe and Asia, we found that other platforms are much more popular. Um, and so the HTML embed was kind of a quick way to allow anyone um, to use this, but we are working on dedicated integrations such as we have with Shopify um, for first WooCommerce WordPress, um, followed by Wix. And then um, we're gonna do some backend ones on the billing side for Stripe and Square. So it's very easy to, to connect all of those. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So let's go to the question and answer. Then uh, we'll try to project up the question and maybe you can read that, you know, and just answer yep. accordingly. Yes, yeah, so can we create our own um, AI QR codes? Is there a way they can pick uh, a reward or have multiple choices? Um, so right now we, we do all answer the first question on QR codes. Um, we've done multiple QR code based um, campaigns, and usually that's done for some sort of physical retail uh, company. So for example, there's a store we work with local to me, um, and they wanted signage in their store um, where people would tell a friend. And so they did, uh, they printed QR codes and all they did um, was they created a referral specific page on their website. So it was just a page with our referral widget and kind of some call to actions on it. And then they linked their QR code to that. So internally on our platform, we don't have the tools to do that, um, but it is very easy to do with a kind of a off the shelf QR code generator, which you can find for free. Um, and I also wanna say our team is very happy to help anyone um, with requests like this. So if you want help doing QR codes or maybe you have a WooCommerce site, but aren't um, very technical, you know, we are uh, more than happy to get on a call or or help set up. Um, so for the next question, is there a way they can pick a reward? Um, right now, we don't have the option to do um, multiple rewards. What we have done is do A-B testing um, between different rewards to figure out what is the most popular. Um, but hopefully in the future, we'll have a way that, that you can offer different rewards that they can pick from. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, that's not available yet. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this is the next question is a very long question. <laughs> it's from uh, Emma's Lee. Oh, uh, yes. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, I mean, I can't project it up because uh, you have to read it from the right hand side. Yeah, I, I can read it. So um, the first question is, how many workspaces are we going to get for tier three? Um, and for those of you who might not have been following us on AppSumo, um, a big feature request that we got for um, agencies and enterprise users was the ability to add different workspaces. Um, and that should be coming out, uh, I hope, next week. Um, and oh, if okay. not, the week after, I promise. But we've been working very hard on, on enabling that. And so the amount of workspaces um, that we are currently planning to give is going to be either 10 or 15. Um, and the reason that we're not able to give unlimited 
um, is it opens up the possibility for us of, of a power user, um, which we actually had a conversation with someone who had a thousand different Shopify stores, um, hoping to, to use that all through one tier. And um, for us, we don't want to put ourselves in a position where we can no longer support the product because we've got one user doing a thousand stores um, and we're not, you know, continuing to, to make money to cover the overhead there. So it's a little bit less than we would have liked to give, um, but, but we will be looking for between the 10 and 15 number. Um, and we'll also give fairly um, affordable options to add extra tiers if you're an AppSumo user as well. Um, for the next question from uh, Hermes, um, will each workspace get its own SMTP um, and CNAME? Yes, so each workspace, you'll be able to adjust the, the email and the, the CNAME for that. So everyone, you can, you know, um, if you have a bunch of clients, you can make sure each email um, for each client is from the, the correct provider. Um, third question, any ETA for adding a social share feature? Um, so that is one of our top three priorities coming after, after workspaces um, and one other. I don't want to give you an ETA because um, I would hate to give you one and have it be wrong, but we are hoping to have that out before the AppSumo deal ends. Um, and I'll be continuing to provide updates on that via um, both email and in the questions in AppSumo. So I apologize, I can't give you a, a better time frame there, but hopefully it will not be a very, very long time. Um, the fourth question is due to now there only, only being email and SMS sharing availabilities, do you have a plan to integrate with Cloud Sponge? Um, I cannot say that I do. This is the first time I've heard of Cloud Sponge. So I will take a look at that and see um, if that might make sense for us. And thank you for you know pointing us towards Cloud Sponge. Um, fifth question is, do you have a plan to add a leaderboard feature for the competition type of referral campaigns? Um, we don't have a plan for that. It is something we've discussed. But again, I think um, just to be fully transparent, we have some other things that we, we want to work on first. Um, such as getting, you know, WooCommerce and Stripe integrations out to, to everyone, um, updating the um, reward capabilities, things like that. So we'd love to introduce that in the future, but I do not know when that will happen. Um, sixth question is, any plans to add a shuffle winner feature for referrals? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, so I'm going to go ahead and say no, because we've not, <laughs> not discussed that internally. So I'm going to say no to that one. Um, seventh, I visited your website and it seems like referral marketing is not everything for Prosper Brand because it's under the product section. Do you mind sharing your bigger plans with us? Um, you know, how many li limit, uh, lifetime deal companies do develop different products under the same company name, but end up not providing the new features slash product updates to existing lifetime deal users. Um, for this particular AppSumo campaign, you're running the Prosper referral marketing um, campaign or the entire Prosper campaign. Um, so for this, we are running the, uh, well, let me take a step back. There's a couple questions here. So as far as our, our current products, um, you're absolutely correct. So right now, the first product we are offering is referral marketing. Um, and we are planning to introduce a couple other products in the future, um, specifically an affiliate marketing feature. And that one will be bundled into this lifetime deal. And so, because that is very similar to the referral marketing, um, everyone who's bought the, the lifetime deal through AppSumo will get the affiliate marketing product. Um, the other product that we are looking to introduce is a, uh, basically a customer, or I guess two products. One is a customer data incentivization product. So basically similar to sharing for a friend for 10% off, we will ask people to, um, leave, you know, a, a survey, basically answer a survey about products they've bought, um, buying personas, things like that. So people can gather more targeted information for their own, um, you know, product feedback or for marketing data, things like that. Um, and the last one will be a review product. So, you know, um, leave a review, get $10, something like that. I currently don't know if we will include those in the lifetime deal. Um, again, I just want to be upfront with, with where we're at. I don't want to mislead anyone. Um, and so it's possible. We haven't decided on that yet, but um, it's also possible it will not be included there. And then eight, um, I am ambitious about winning tier two. Will <laughs> I be able to pay to upgrade to tier three when I win this prize? Uh, yes, you'll be able to upgrade to tier three, and um, if you need any help with that, we'd be we'd be more than happy to to assist on that front. Um, and then the last, no no worries at all for the long questions. It's great to see that you're you're engaged here and and asking really great relevant questions. So thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Dylan, and also Lee. 
uh, Lee is from New Zealand, you know, so he wake up four o'clock in the morning to to come to this webinar. So thank you so he's much. Very Lee. keen to what I call uh, this product. You know? yeah. So hopefully he will win. So we are not sure. So let's yeah. move to the next question from Anil. Yeah, so does it work for packages of multiple products? I'm not sure if it even makes sense. Need to take a closer look. So what I assume you mean here is, um, does can we make the discounts work for um, like a, a group of products or set discounts up to um, be you know product specific or for a specific set of products or all products? Um, and the answer is yes, um, if I'm understanding your question correctly. And so if um, you're a non-Shopify user, um, you'll need to set up the, the discount in your billing, um, whether that's Stripe or WooCommerce or whatever that is, to just apply to different um, products that you pick and choose. Otherwise, if you're in Shopify, um, when you set up your discount, you can go ahead and pick what collections or what products um, it applies to. So it really is dependent on what your billing system is. But we have run campaigns in the past for people um, like the hat one, where it's you know specific to only one product, We've also done ones where you have to bundle products together to get that discount. Um, so I hope that answers your question. And if I didn't understand that correctly, um, please let me know. Okay. Thank you. Let's move to the next. My Jadip, you know, any plan to integrate with Seldan? Seldan is another uh, e-commerce platform uh, once in yes. this app some more. So I'm not sure whether you know that. Yeah, I'm actually not familiar with Seldon. So um, there's no plan to integrate specifically with them. Um, what we are introducing, and this is probably of interest to, to many people, is um, what are called webhooks, which basically allow you to, if you're a little bit more technical, um, integrate with any other platform to pass data along. And so I think if you want to use something like Seldon, um, with webhooks, you'll be able to, to set up a more complex discounting system. And again, that will be a little bit more technical of a feature to use. But um, if you don't have someone on your team that that knows webhooks, we are more than happy to to help out. Um, and I also want to say we never charge for service or support. Um, you know, we we learn from working with everyone, and so for us, it's um, a great experience to help you guys. So, um, if there's something like that that we can help with, please just send me an email um, or anyone on my team, and we can help with with those kind of integrations. Okay, thank you. Yeah, just for the record, uh, some people ask whether it can be integrated. I mean, that is support WooCommerce. Yes, it support WooCommerce. Yeah. yeah, so we are hoping to get the WooCommerce out um, by the end of this year. Um, if not, it will be very, very early next year. And um, I know for many lifetime deal buyers um, that might get near the end of your, your refund period. And so another thing I want to say is, you know, if you buy and you're a WooCommerce user, and, and that's kind of why you want it. Um, and it's not out in time or something, we will always um, be happy to either work with you or or support you post app so you want a refund process there. So um, again, hopefully we'll have it out while um, the app Sumo deal is still running. And if not, you know, we, we would like to work with you guys and, and make sure that you're happy with that. Okay, thank you. Uh, this question is regarding Squarespace. Do you have plans? Yes. To so um, Squarespace is one of the, the top priorities alongside WooCommerce and WordPress. Um, and then Stripe and Squarespace are um, kind of the, those are the top four integrations that we are building um, and hope to be releasing um, by the end of this year, or early next year. Okay, that's good. Question by Eugene, do you offer a white label option? So at the moment, we do not. That being said, we've had a lot of um, questions both from AppSumo users, but also from um, kind of agencies that we've been working with off, off of AppSumo to do white labeling. And we are currently working on um, figuring out how to do that best. So uh, we do plan on offering a white label option in the future. Uh, the tricky part with this is we are currently, um, that, that little powered by Prosper logo that you see at the bottom, um, for us, that lets us maintain liability. So when someone agrees to our terms of services, um, it says that we are um, allowed to send messages on their behalf. And the tricky part getting rid of that is we need to um, transfer liability in a safe way to our user. And so we're working through that, but we are hoping to offer white label options to um, potentially to tier three users and um, hopefully in the not too distant future. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm, this question is interesting. Will the system integrate with a ticketing promotional code? 
yes. I'm not sure uh, what particular thing they're talking, maybe. Yeah, so I don't know the, the Tickbean um, platform that you're talking about, but it should work there. Um, you, using the static codes the, that I went through in the demo, um, you can create a code in the, the promotional platform and then use that same code in Prosper, and that way it should work. Okay, thank you. So this question by Sujit. Yes, so can it be used as a link? Um, so I can send the link to customers with their invoices. Um, yes, so how we've traditionally done um, kind of link-based sharing, um, and we've seen this done in a couple of ways, is the, the user will usually set up a dedicated website or not website, I'm sorry, web page on their website, often hidden, that is only focused on sending the referral. Um, what we then do is we can link that into um, a marketing email or an invoice or something like that. So that way, um, once someone receives that, they can uh, click the link or click the email and be taken to that web page that is private but hosted on your website. Um, and if that doesn't make sense, again, um, I'd be happy to to show you um, how we've done that in the past. So. Okay, that's, that looks good. So can, next question is by Barry. Can we use Zapier to connect our CRM for automation? Yes, so um, you definitely can use Zapier. We have an app in Zapier that you can use um, and we've used it for uh, CRM automation. That way you can get you know warm leads. You can see who's been sending the referrals, what their name and email is. Um, or even set it up with things like email marketing, such as Klaviyo. Um, so 100%, you can use Zapier um, to connect to uh, any tool that's basically on there. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> can we remove the power by label? Um, so that and is the same answer as the white label question, um, which is, you know, we're, we're planning to, we're figuring out the legal side of that and are hoping to offer that to kind of agency enterprise users, tier three users. Um, but we are working through the, the legal side of it to make sure that we don't take any wrong liability and we don't give our customers any, any unnecessary liability either. But I believe, uh, I mean, for the highest tier, tier three, that, that should be removed because uh, <laughs> that it is the highest tier, you know? but then the decision is yours. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Albert, and that's something that, that we're working on. We've seen some, a lot of feedback around that. So um, we hear you guys loud and clear on that, and we're working on it. So how do you protect customer's phone number, email, um, ID, which customer put in? Does it comply with GDPR? So um, two questions here. So the easy one is we are not GDPR compliant yet. Um, we are working on that. So um, right now we mostly have done work with US companies, although we're starting to do work with European companies. Um, and we are working with the team to, to meet GDPR compliance. Um, how we protect customers phone number, email ID um, is, well, in a couple of ways. So um, one is you, the, the business users, so users of our platform, um, they only get access to the name and the contact information of the person that has sent a referral. Um, and they agree to, to give that up in the terms and conditions um, when they agree to let you send messages on their behalf. Um, there's no way for anyone to access the um, contact or ID of the person receiving it. Um, and again, that is to make sure that we are much more um, compliant with laws all over the place. Um, and then on the, the other end, we do use best practices in storing information. So. Um, Again, I'm not the technical user, but I know, or technical founder, but I know that we um, have paid attention to where we store our data, um, how that's been secured, um, and kind of how we back that all up. So it's um, a pretty secure system. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Dylan, before we move to the next question, I would like to share this, uh, what I call, uh, giveaway form so that they can fill it up, you know, so that we can draw the winners yep. at a later stage. So give me a second. Okay, guys, this is the form. Let me put it in the chat so that everybody can accept it. So go download silo.com prosper form. Okay. I'm sending up into the chat. Okay, it's done. 
So guys, uh, if you want to participate, you know, to win one of the five prizes, uh, please do your part and hopefully the best guy will win. Okay, let's move to the next question. Um, SMS provider. Yes, so um, sending referral to a phone number is great. Thank you very much. And do we have an, uh, do you, do we have to have an SMS provider or is it inbuilt with Prosper? So for email um, and SMS, we have built in um, capabilities. For email, we do encourage people to go and do uh, custom DNS and set up their own domain. But for SMS, we do handle everything. So we're using Twilio um, to basically send all of our messages and that has built in features um, like unsubscribes, things like that. So we're compliant with text messaging laws. Um, so no need for you to um, provide your own phone number and we don't actually even offer the option to, to add a custom phone number um, because then we would struggle more with making sure that we are compliant with those laws. Okay, this will be the answer. Okay, uh, Ryan asked, uh, of course, the white label question has been answered. So now it's the C name. C name is, I think, is only for the email, right? Uh, yes, so only for the email. Um, for the, the landing pages, um, that almost will almost always set that up on your domain um so you'll just create a, another web page um and either make it private or you can make it you know a refer a friend page specific but that will be also on your website okay that's good so this question by steven mo is a little bit long so can you just uh, read on the chat yes so looking on the bjd site click some shorts to see the prosper widget is this a template is it editable the reason i'm asking is because the word receive is spelled wrong <laughs> is that on their end can it be edited um so yes it can be edited and um i believe so with bdrady they actually set that up themselves so i think that is on them but i will also be sure to correct that um and i appreciate you bringing that to my attention so thank you thank you very much for that steven we have very sharp eyes a member <laughs> yeah. okay this question is by ankit can we check whether the email is delivered or not Yes. So um, when you send that referral and it's loading, it is actually confirming that um, things have been delivered. And, um, you know, it's not 100% perfect, but we have put as much um, reasonable security measures in place as possible to make sure that people cannot basically um, abuse the system. So for both email and phone number, um, we'll check, we'll make sure they're real phone numbers, real emails, and that they will be delivered. Um, and we're also working on adding a feature where um, users can pick certain email domains that they do not want to let referrals go to. So for example, if you're a business user um, with a business product and you don't want this to get sent to Gmail accounts or Outlooks, you could put in um, Gmail and Outlook and it will not let people refer there. So that way it can only go to other businesses. I can't hear you, uh, Dylan. Uh-oh, can you oh. hear me now, Albert? Yeah, I can now. Okay, sorry. Okay. A moment of... Uh... Silence. So, Hsm Suja asks, "Is it can we target specific country only?" I don't think so. Um, there might be some creative ways to do that, but I built in with our our platform um, at the moment. There is not. Your voice is not coming. Uh, can you hear me uh, now? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. sorry about that, everyone. Um, so right now, it is not um, possible to target a specific country in in our platform that that I'm aware of. So, um, but I will, you know, I'll note this in all of the other requests for things that we don't have, um, so that we can at least evaluate adding things like that. Okay, yeah, this is a very important question. Abused by people who want the referral or whatever the yes. gift one. <laughs> Yeah, so this is probably one of the most common questions we get, um, and also one of the most important ones. Um, and so we do uh, a few things, both on the email and SMS sides, to try to avoid abuse. Um, the most basic ones are not letting people send referrals um, to themselves, or uh, you know you can't enter the same phone number. We'll block that. We also have blocked popularly used phone numbers, like if someone tries to put in one 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 one, things <laughs> like that. Going um, a step deeper, it, it is that process of making sure that. Um, phone or text and emails are actually delivered. Um, and we're also introducing um, more security features that are a bit smarter, such as um, flagging potentially um, 
fraudulent activity. So, you know, if one IP address has sent, you know, 15 referrals um, or something that made 15 purchases, we will flag that and make sure the IP address cannot continue to do that. Um, also, that can be said for um, other types of suspicious activity. You know, if one phone number has received a lot of referrals, you know, so if one number has gotten 15 referrals from different people, we will, um, you know, take actions to, to make sure that those codes aren't usable. Um, that being said, it's probably impossible. You know, if someone is very, very determined, um, they probably can find a way to send something to themselves. But historically, we've seen less than 2% um, of referrals be um, abusive. And so um, over 98% of all of the referrals for all of our users have been from real users to real users. And we check on that um, from time to time in our database, manually looking at who sent this, what was the phone number, what was the email, who did it go to, um, and making sure that those are um, pretty much real. And the, the real only instance we ever had of, of abuse here was we had one person um, figure out how to send um, like 15 different referrals and um, that was really the one instance of that. So <laughs> yeah. long story short, short, we're doing what we can to, to stop them. Um, it hasn't been a huge problem historically for us, but um, there's always a small possibility that that could happen. Okay, that, that is understandable. Thank you. So Justin is asking, uh, I mean, basically this is a team feature, so, you know, can we invite user or maybe team members to view the backend? Yes. So um, when you invite someone, you can either right now, before we introduce workspaces, um, you can make them an admin or, or make them a viewer. So an admin will have full um, abilities to create new campaigns, edit everything. And then um, someone that's a viewer will basically be only able to, to view analytics and reports. That way they can see, you know, maybe you have someone on your marketing team or, uh, you know, your CEO wants to have access, but you don't want him to be able to mess up up your campaigns. Um, so that way they can still see the results and see how well it's working, um, but there's no potential for them to mess something up. Okay, thank you. Let's answer this question by Somalia. Is there any way we can show two different sets of refer to a friend to new and existing customers? Um, so I think what you mean is, is A-B testing probably. Um, mm -hmm through you know, um, behavioral um, data based on your website to someone who's already been on your website or someone that has not been there. Um, as of right now, we do not have that capability, although it is something that um, we definitely um, want to and are planning to add to um, our, our product and alongside that more advanced um, kind of AI enabled features as well. So I don't have a, a time frame on that one specifically because we're doing that alongside AI so that AI can make those adjustments for you um, based on, um, you know, customer profiling. And that's a little bit more complex, but that is something we want to bring in here. Um, and unfortunately, does not exist yet. Your voice is not coming. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, now, I think... Did, did you hear the, the question or should I repeat that? Yeah. No, sometimes it's a wiring, you know. Sometimes it's just a stupid connection. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Charles, you'll ask, maybe a good idea to add influencer finder to this app or integrate with one, which is such as a uh, ninja outreach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, we, we definitely part of that affiliate marketing product that I spoke to a little bit that we want to bring out in the future. Um, I think this would go very well with that. And to be honest, it's not something we've looked at too heavily right now. We've been very focused on making sure our our referral product works well and adding new features to it. But I think this is a great suggestion and I will take a look at Ninja Outreach. Okay. Yes, so um, is the JS library lightweight means there's any side effects on website speed. Um, so we are very, very lightweight on website loading times. Um, and when we've run Lighthouse scores in the past, um, we found that we have almost an imperceivable effect um, and I would encourage, you know, if that's something you're worried about to run just a lighthouse score, um, before and after to make sure, but we are often the, the first element on a web page that actually loads. Um, and the rest of the website is a little bit slower. Good. Can be used for affiliate marketing. So if you wanted to, you could probably use this for affiliate marketing, but to, to be honest, there's other tools that will do that better for you out there. 
Um, and that's a little bit about why I talked um, about us bringing in a, a separate affiliate marketing product um, in the future. And so, you know, um, you could use this by giving an affiliate, you know, a referral link and code, but I think you would probably be better off with, with a platform that's more dedicated towards that type of product. Okay, that, that, that's reasonable. Okay, uh, I'm mostly asking about the SMS uh, credits. You know? Yep. Um, so one more question, how does the SMS work? Do we need to purchase credits or have you got Twilio integration? Is the SMS working internationally? Yeah, so you do not need to purchase credits. Um, we, we're working with Twilio and it is extremely cheap for us to send text. So we do not pass that, that cost on to you. Um, so, so we take all of that. Um, you do not need to purchase anything. Um, we do not have a Twilio integration. And again, that is because we are currently providing um, all of the, the, message or the SMS capabilities. Um, so that's not something we've seen the need for. And then the last one is, is the SMS working internationally? Um, so I will actually have to double check that. We've at one point had every country code in, and then because of GDPR compliance, at one point we pulled some of them out. But um, Hermes, I'd be more than happy to get back to you via email to give you a specific answer to that one, because I can check that um, quickly with my team. I just don't know off the top of my head. Okay, so this question is by Chaitanya. He asked you whether have you checked out drop pin, but this is no. Instagram, Instagram. I have not, um, but I will check it out. And I always appreciate people um, pointing me towards you know interesting or new new services that are complementary or, or adjacent mm -hmm. to us. So thank you. Yeah, but because this is, uh, I mean, maybe in our opinion is slightly different uh, product, you know, so. Yeah, never mind. Just check okay, it out. Okay. We can ask. Yeah, I will definitely. I will definitely look at that. Okay, Derek asking for physical product or for services. Can we use yes. it for services? So you definitely can use it for services. Um, and basically, I mean, it'll depend a little bit on what your service offering is and how people check that out. But um, you know, we've worked with. Um, in the past, a, a client who um, was kind of acting as an agency, but they were representing a, a massage group and, you know, they wanted to, when people came in, um, let them tell a friend, get discounts on massages, things like that. And so 100% this can work for services. Um, if it's an online service, let's say like consulting, um, you, can, you can place this and set up all of your discounts um, and kind of tailor that to your needs. And again, I think if this is something that um, you'd like any help with, uh, we're more than happy as a team to to walk you through that in more detail, um, how you could set that up with your specific service and use case. Okay, how flexible is the reward? I think it's yes. up to so, you, <laughs> up to the, yeah. the owner. So it's pretty flexible. Um, you know, we, as long as you can put a discount code to it. So that could be anything from, um, a free product to 20% off a specific product to $10 off your entire order to um, even something like um, if you're willing to handle some manual processes and take in codes like a raffle, like get entered to win, you know, a lifetime supply of gummy bears or whatever. So it, it's very flexible. It will depend on um, your billing system and kind of what, you know, you can add to your billing system and how flexible that is. Um, so overall you can, do many things though with the rewards. Okay, thank you. Ani is asking only company email. I mean, this is just to prevent spamming, you know? Yeah, and so that is a feature that we don't have in yet, but um, we are currently uh, working on adding and that should be there in the not too distant future. Okay, next question by Steven Moore. Can we do A-B testing ourselves? Yes, um, we've had customers in the past do do a B split testing. Um, and I think it depends on what web platform you're on and how you know you set up that split testing, but absolutely you can do that. Um, and there are other also platforms out there that help you do that. So um, until we have a better a B testing option in our um, platform, you can do that yourself through your web um, provider or through another platform out there that does a B testing. Is there any way we yes. can refer so, to WhatsApp? <laughs> this is a great question. Um, as of right now, today, no, um, <laughs> but that will change very shortly. So um, we're we're working on introducing actually the a whole new widget and kind of framework and how it looks to to optimize it. 
and you will get WhatsApp messaging capabilities um, alongside that, and that will be in the not very distant future. Okay, this question, can we limit the number of referrals sent and bar, I mean, the time about the expiry date? So right now, we're not, um, you're not able to limit the number of referrals sent. Um, but you definitely can add an exp uh, expiry date to all of the codes. And we recommend that you add, um, that you do add some kind of update to that. We usually do 30 days as best practice, but you can make that as short or as long as you want. Um, if it's too short, you know, a day, people might become frustrated if they go back to purchase and the code doesn't work. Um, but you definitely can do that. Okay. Amir um, is asking, can we, how do we identify the messages are, are delivered? Yeah, so we use Twilio and SendGrid, um, and they have those capabilities built in um, on the back end. So we hook into those, um, and once um, that is confirmed on our end, you know, pass the data along for us that it's been delivered, then we know everything is good to go. So that is not our functionality. That's Twilio um, for text, SendGrid for email. Okay, this is interesting question. <laughs> Can we add image, video, or company branding? So there's no way right now to add an image or video, but that is a very, very interesting question. Um, as far as the branding goes, um, right now all you can do is customize all of the fonts, um, sizes, and colors to, to meet your branding. Um, but, you know, we are looking at, at ways that we can, you know, probably as part of the white label option that you can add more of your uh, brand identity to it. So um, no way right now to do image or video but some limited branding and hopefully that will get better in the future. Okay, thank you. Latif asking whether it is work on WordPress membership chat. Yes, so um, you can put it under a WordPress site um, with the, the HTML embed. And if you're not comfortable doing that, um, please just reach out to, to myself or anyone on our team and we'll be more than happy to, to help you do that. It would take us probably less than 10 minutes to, to jump on a call with you and help. So, <clears throat> okay, Faiz Musa, Faiz Musa asked the uh, integration with a uh, payment gateway so that they can actually apply the discount on purchases. Yes. So um, you can set up a static, what we call a static code. So you input the code in our platform. You just make sure that that is the same code that you put in the PayPal or Stripe, um, and it will all work correctly. Okay, Jadip is asking, you know, they don't want to use your email system. They want to use their own email system. Is it possible? Um, so what we have for email is we have the custom kind of DNS. So you can go into your account and you can add your own um, domain and it will then send from, from your emails, yes. And we do encourage that, you know, hopefully everyone does that. Um, that way you can monitor and be responsible for, for the delivery. We always do from our end, we always are monitoring, um, you know, are our emails delivering, are they going to spam? Um, and we also update our email addresses and keep them warmed up. But just due to the volume that we send, occasionally things do end up in spam to be to be honest. So we encourage you to, to add your own email there. <laughs> of course, you'll save some money. <laughs> <laughs> that as well. Okay, so do you have any dedicated tutorial guide how to set up customer as per our requirement? Yes, so we have on the home page of our dashboard, we have um, some documents that walk you through the setup. Um, so how to embed it, you know, how to create widgets, how to create um, campaigns, um, how to do things like connect to a, a Zapier account. Um, so there, there are dedicated tutorials there. We also have some Loom videos um, for things like WordPress. So um, let me see if I can actually drop that in the chat for everyone because I know WordPress is a popular platform here. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, Dylan, let me say something. Actually, just now I was uh, actually checking out the all the mm -hmm. what call onboarding. At the back end, you actually have quite a good uh, onboarding steps, you know, on various way on how to use the platform. You know, so mm -hmm. actually, I was quite impressed to be frank because uh, not many not many apps are actually using doing something like you because. Uh, Yours is a very step by step, you know, when you click something, then you go to next step, click something, the step at showing you the pictures and the screenshots. Mm -hmm. So I would say yeah. you, know, you, you have done something actually quite good. So only thing that you might have to improve your documentation. 
Yeah, and um, we're we're constantly trying to improve the usability and the documentation, so it's it's even easier to use. Um, but hopefully, it's it's fairly straightforward. And if not, you know, again, we're always here to help. So. Okay, so roadmap. Do you have a public roadmap? Um, our roadmap is not fully public. So what I can speak to in the short term is uh, workspaces are probably the most important thing for us right now. And, you know, that is because we've seen the demand for it um, and know that a lot of AppSumo users um, want to use a tier three and want to use that for their clients. So workspaces will be coming out shortly. Um, we're also working on revamping our um, kind of the entire widget. So we, we've learned over the last year, you know, what works and what doesn't. Um, and we're currently in the development phase of introducing a, um, I'll just call it a superior widget with new features um, that make it a lot more user-friendly for both the consumer and the business user. Um, alongside that, you'll be seeing in the, the next couple of weeks, a new analytics page coming out that provides much more detailed reporting. Um, so that way you can kind of, you know, better optimize your campaigns. Um, the other things that we're currently looking at are, of course, those integrations that we spoke about before. The, the WooCommerce is the Stripes. Um, those will be coming after those three things that I just talked about, but um, are important to us. So those are kind of the very short term roadmaps or roadmap and longer term um, at a high level. We're looking at, you know, adding affiliate marketing products, adding AI into our system. But um, as we're a startup, things are very chaotic and I can't give you an accurate time frame on some of that. So, okay. So I think that there is uh, something that we can look forward to. So yeah. let's uh, answer the last few questions and we can actually close this. Okay. Can you share? Okay, this is done. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah. so do you have any plan to introduce other payment gateways, um, country specific so that maximum people can take benefit of this feature? So I, we do want to introduce other payment gateways. Those are the, you know, stripes, things like that. Um, I don't know if it will be country specific. Um, and the reason for that is um, as a company, it's, you know, we reach a, a larger part of our user base and we do uh, mass adopted platforms like Stripe or Square. Um, whereas if we're doing country specific payment platforms, um, we might only have one or two users in that country. So for things like that, um, I would recommend um, talking to us and seeing if, you know, maybe our webhooks can, can work with that. Okay. Yeah, I guess we have answered most of the questions. So if we have not answered any questions, just let me know. And we should go to the giveaway uh, campaign or maybe the wheels of name. So let me do my work. Perhaps uh, Dylan, you can talk to the audience, anything you want to tell them uh, while I'm actually collecting the names. Or the yeah, giveaway. definitely. Um... Well, you know, the a, a couple quick things. First of all, thank you everyone for being here and taking the time to, you know, learn a little bit more about um, our company and what we've been building. Um, I also really appreciate the questions. They're very insightful um, and they, you know, those questions and, and that feedback helps inform us of, you know, how we're going to develop new features and new products in the future. Um, so we really appreciate that. Again, um, I also want to just emphasize that, um, you know, we are here as a team to to help anyone. With, with anything, if you're not, you know, a Shopify user and, and you need some help with integrations, um, we are more than happy to, to work with you. Um, and lastly, I would say, you know, if you do use us and um, like what we've done, um, please go ahead and leave us a review um, and let us know what works and what doesn't work so that we can, you know, better address things. Okay, thank you, Dylan. Uh, I've got the form, uh, I've got this uh, views of name projected up. So guys, uh, we will actually there are five prices to be won, uh, three tier one prices and two tier two prices. So we will reserve two tier two prices uh, for tomorrow to announce the winner. So we will look, look at the, the engagement and also the how you interact with our audience and also the founder. So today we will draw three prices by random draw using this uh, wheel. Okay, these are the names of the people who actually participated. Let me check whether any repeated name. Okay, looks like everybody is uh, following the rules. No, <laughs> no repeated name. Okay, let me shuffle. I will draw three times, uh, spin three times. So if you are present, please tap your name uh, and to claim the price. If not, we will actually draw again until we get Albert. the winner. 
really quickly, it looks like a few people's names did not appear in there um, who are active. So I just want to make sure that they get a chance as well. Whose names are not there? Most of them who are um, not here because uh, they came in very late, you know. So I see some people come in at 12 o'clock. I mean, one hour later, if I'm not wrong. So some are coming in uh, a bit, maybe 15 minutes ago. So sometimes okay. we actually disqualify them. <laughs> okay. I will so leave that up to It's you. very difficult for, for us to decide sometimes, you know, yeah. on the fly, you know. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's, it's good to include everybody. But then if I start doing that, yeah. we are encouraging people to come last minute, you know, to put their name and actually win, you know. So okay. this is something we'll that, I, that I'm I'm actually fighting myself inside, you know. So sometimes it is always the case, you know. So let's draw okay. the first two names first, see whether how it goes okay let's go briefly briefly are you there <laughs> briefly are you there Please type your name if you are there. Let me see. Oh, I see your name. Yeah, congratulations, uh, Brave. You have won one prize. Let's remove your name. Shuffle. Okay, let's shuffle again. Second winner coming. Ayesha Tanmana. Are you there? So if you're not here, we will spin again. Guys, can somebody ping? Okay, she's here. Thank you. Let's remove your name. And the first two winners are Bravely and Ayasha Tamana. Let's draw the last prize for the tonight, you know. So, okay, before we draw, Dylan, should we add the names of a few persons who claim that you know, they their names are not there? I know that they came in late, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can we can give them a shot here too. So put their name in. Um, oh, I am not in in this with you. Can I tell you their name? No, no. I just want to ask you whether should we put in the latecomers' name I, in I, the draw. I think so because they both um, answered some. They they both asked questions that that were relevant and good. So I yeah, I think we should. Okay, let's do it. Guys, sometimes you have to be early, you know, so I'm not in favor of this actually, but then this is something that, you know, you have to be what I call a uh, grateful, you know, we put your name in. Pankaj and who else? Uh, Somalia, if I'm not wrong. Somalia, yes, yes. how to spell your name? Sorry, I just put your name. Maybe I'm wrong. Who else are not there? Um, I think Faz Musa. Faz Musa. Faiz Musa from Canada. Okay. I hope everybody is there. Let's do it. Okay, spin. Titania. No, come back. <laughs> okay, Chaitanya is from India. Oh, you are there. That's good. So, guys, uh, we have three names here. Uh, briefly, Ayasma, Tamana, and also Chaitanya. Uh, congratulations. So, let's stop sharing this one. 
Okay, we have come to the end of this uh, webinar. And before we end, uh, I would like to say a big thank you to the audience, especially, you know, those who stay up. Thank you all. Until, until uh, one hour from, I mean, one hour ago. And also to Dylan, definitely, you know, he has actually done a quite a good uh, presentation and also a short demo on how to use the product, you know. So I've, I've gone through the backend, uh, actually. So I believe it's uh, a product which actually have a lot of potential. So the only so-called, uh, not to say issue, I would say that, you know, if they improve on the other platform embedding, then it will be a yep. great definitely so i've spoken to yeah. him so he actually working very hard to do that but to use it on shopify is perfect 100 percent perfect very smooth thank <laughs> so you that, thank uh, you, if you have a shopify shop you know do consider this you know, because this is a very very good integration so for others you know so let's see how it goes and with that uh, i would like to conclude this and before we end uh dylan you have any other thing to tell the audience or anything you want to say no, just um, thank you everyone for, for being here and asking great questions and, and thank you, Albert, for having me on. Um, and I look forward to seeing what the winners do and I hope um, some of you are interested to, to come check out our, our deal. So thank you all. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Thank you, Dylan. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow there is another webinar with another founder and 10 p.m., you know, uh, my time, you know, so... See you guys and bye-bye. Good night. Good day. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Bye-bye.